In this video, we will discuss how to create a scratch org using clicks with Prodly. Before we get started, let's talk about what exactly is a scratch org. A scratch org is a temporary environment inside of Salesforce. These environments are useful because they allow you to work faster and more agile. Think of a scratch org as faster, better, and easier to use versions of developer pro orgs. Admins and developers can make an org to use for a few days, complete their work, promote it, and move on. Sounds great, right? The problem is that unlike creating a sandbox with clicks, until now, scratch orgs could only be created through Salesforce's command line interface, Salesforce DX. They also come with no record data and no metadata, and the only way to define an org shape is through DX, which is very challenging for admins to use. That is why historically admins have found Scratch orgs unusable. This is where Scratch org creation with Prodly comes in. We can quickly and efficiently create Scratch orgs from within our platform with workable data from production, only using clicks. Let's see how it's done. To create a Scratch org, I simply click Create Scratch from the Environments tab of AppOps Release. As a reminder, Scratch orgs created with DX come without any data or metadata. With Prodly, we can create Scratch orgs that better mimic production, complete with your production metadata types, as well as production record data seeded into the Scratch org. After naming my Scratch org, I select how long I want my Scratch org to last. With Prodly, that can either be the default 7 days or 30 days. I then select the source org and I'll manage packages, metadata types, and record data that I want to include inside of my scratch org. This level of granularity and ease of use revolutionizes the ability for admins to quickly create simple environments to test one-off changes. Once I've made my desired selections, I simply select Create Scratch Org. Depending on how much data you chose to put in your Scratch Org, it may take some time to be created. Let's skip ahead to when it's ready to go. To access your Scratch Org, you simply select the org and click Login next to the environment URL. And there you see it. I have now successfully logged in to buy brand new Scratch org and can get to work. Let's recap the three steps for creating a Scratch org with Prodly. Number one, we're going to click the Create Scratch button. Number two is making your selections for your source org and what manage packages, metadata, and data you want in your Scratch org. Number three, we click Create Scratch org. Interested in learning more about Proudly's one-click scratch or creation? Get a demo today at Proudly.co.